Allah knows best who your enemies are and Allah is sufficient for you as a protector and Allah is sufficient for you as a helper. Who can there be better than Allah as a protector for you and I? Who can there be better than Allah as a protector or a God, one who is going to guard us and help us, a helper? Who can there be better than Allah? Subhanallah. So my brothers and sisters, when you are feeling uncertain, when you don't know, leave it in the hands of Allah, read your dua and continue. And Allah will open your doors. Allah will grant you a sense of calmness in your heart. Allah will give you contentment so that you can get up in the morning and you are not worried about anything. Bismillah in the name of Allah. الذي لا يضر مع اسمه شيء في الأرض ولا في السماء وهو السميع العليم. I am taking the name of Allah by whose name nothing can ever harm me at all, neither on earth nor in the heavens. And indeed, He is all hearing, all knowing. Subhanallah. So these are some of the supplications of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Use them, make them, and you need to feel the comfort. Then leave it in the hands of Allah. They cannot touch you. Wa'lam anna al-ummat law ijtama'at ala an yadurruk bi shay'in lam yadurruk illa bima qad katabahu Allah alayk. The Prophet Muhammad says, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, you need to know that if the entire nation gets together to harm you, they cannot cause any harm to you unless Allah has written it against you already. Leave it in the hands of Allah. Subhanallah. So this is something amazing because when we read through the pages of the Quran, we find so many verses where there were people from the very beginning who were not only the personal enemies of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam because they were jealous of him. They accused him. They said that he was actually after things that he was not. He was known as the most honest and the most trustworthy prior to prophethood, which means if he didn't lie regarding material items of the world prior to prophethood, why on earth would he be lying regarding the hereafter? Subhanallah. Wasn't he known as As-Sadiq Al-Ameen? The most truthful, the most honest? Subhanallah. So if they did that to the messenger sallallahu alayhi wasallam and to the companions of his, may Allah's peace and blessings be upon them all. Who do you think you and I are? We don't stand a chance. They will go to town with us. Subhanallah. They will literally say everything about us. When they say it, learn to smile. Tell yourself, the most beloved unto Allah, they did this to him. If they are doing it to me, there is something Allah loves about me. Tell yourself that and be steadfast. Subhanallah. Nothing will harm you ever in the world. Inna waliyya Allahu alladhi nazzal al-kitab wa huwa yatawalla al-salihin. My protector is indeed the one who has revealed the book, Allah, and he is the one who will protect the good, the pious, and those who are trying to attain the pleasure of Allah. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. Hasbi Allah la ilaha illa hu alayhi tawakkaltu wa huwa rabbul arshil azim. Allah is sufficient for me. I don't need to worry about anything. Hasbi Allah. There is none worthy of worship besides Allah, besides He. And He is the Lord of the great throne. Subhanallah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us protection. When they came to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, telling him that they have prepared a huge army to fight you, what happened to him? Allahu Akbar, instead of worry and concern, he decided, you know what? We are going to hand our affairs to Allah. He said, Hasbuna Allahu wa ni'mal wakil. Allah is sufficient for us. And He is the best disposer of our affairs. 
Remember, if they manage to harm you even a little, perhaps long term there is some benefit for you. Take a look at the battles that took place at the time of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam. When they went for Umrah and they were not allowed to enter, they struck a treaty in Hudaybiyah and they came back. Some of the companions were saying, how can this be? Alasna ala al-haqqi. Are we not on the straight path, on the truth, on the straight and narrow? Why would it be that we had to strike an agreement with these people that we are going to go back without the Umrah? And Allah revealed verses, Inna fatahna laka mubina. Indeed, we have granted you an outright clear victory. People like Umar ibn al-Khattab radiallahu anhu and some of the companions were asking, Afathun who? Is this actually a victory? We are going back? Hang on, be patient. Victory comes with those who are patient. You need to know that victory comes with patience. If not today, tomorrow you will have your day of smiling. Subhanallah. Tomorrow you will have your day of smiling. You will be happy. You will achieve victory. And so the Prophet ﷺ told them, if Allah calls it victory, it is indeed victory. A few years later, they entered back into Makkah al-Mukarramah, victorious, the victory of Makkah. There were hundreds of thousands. In fact, the Sahaba anhum were in their tens of thousands. And do you know what? The Prophet Muhammad ﷺ on the day of victory, when he knew, I've won it now, subhanAllah. He was the most humble ever. He was not arrogant. He was not haughty. Anyone who sought forgiveness on that day was forgiven. Not only that, when he had the power, when he was able to do whatever he wanted to do with his enemies, what did he choose to do? He asked them a question. And I love this question because it teaches me a lot. When you are powerful, when you have wealth, when you have authority, when you are a person who has people under him, when you are the, you know, the boss, as they say, and you think you are, what will you do? The Prophet ﷺ was higher than all of that. Those are mere descriptions of the dunya. He was afdalul khalqi wa akramul rusul. He was the most noble of all prophets, the best of all creation. Here comes the Prophet ﷺ asking them, Ya ma'ashara Quraysh, ma'adha tadunnuna anni fa'ilun bikum? O people of Quraysh. And each one of them standing there, they know what they did. They know they harmed. They know they killed. They know they stole. They know they oppressed. They know they wronged. But they're standing quietly in front of this man who has a huge army. He's come victorious. He's asking them, what do you think I'm going to do to you today? What are they going to say? They are hoping for good. We are wishing that you will do something good. He says, Go, all of you, you are free. No retribution today. I'm going to tell you what the Prophet Yusuf alayhi salam, Joseph, may peace be upon him, told his brothers. There is no retribution against you today. Go, go. You guys are all free. Don't worry. Let's learn to put the past behind us and let's move forward and progress. My brothers, my sisters, that day will come when we will witness the victory. Thank you so much for listening to the short message. I pray that it has increased you in a little bit of motivation and hope. And the same applies to all of us. Jazakumullah khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.